Okay, this video, uh, video I think 49, is going to look at substitution in algebra. What is substitution? Well, basically it's replacing a variable, a letter, with a number. But this has to be done right. Um, quite often in maths we have to do substitution. Um, example in real life when we're doing uh, science work or science scientists maybe we've done for instance miles per hour we to work out the speed we have to divide the number of miles by the number of hours so if I know the miles is six and the hours is two then I'd simply do six divided by two now, is that substitution well yes I've replaced the word miles with six and I've replaced the word hours with two so without even realizing it you've done substitution very simply put if I've got a variable say for instance x I know that the value of x is two the x becomes two simple enough so if I want to show that in algebra I would simply write the x and directly underneath it show in the substitution I'd replace the letter x with the number 2. Notice how I've done the x's here it doesn't look like a normal x the reason being is because it might, might be mixed up with a multiplication sign. Here then is another example we've got x plus 3 is our expression we need to uh, substitute x for 4 this time so I'm going to rewrite it this time replacing the x with a 4 and I'd normally write, I would rewrite this directly underneath um, uh, keeping it tidy. One of the reasons being is it makes it easier to find mistakes um, and in some of the longer algebra you'll see that you have quite a few lines to check through. So the x has been replaced by 4 making it now 4 plus 3 and I know my answer is 7. Simple enough. Going on to a little bit more complicated now then we've got 2x plus 5 and we're substituting x for 6. Some people might think oh I know 2 times 6 plus 5 I know what the, the answer to that is but you need to show the examiner that you are doing the substitution properly so even if you can work out the answer in one go make sure you write it down in steps because that one of those steps where you're showing the initial replacement of the values that could be worth a mark. Another thing as well is you want to get into the habit of it because the bigger longer calculations you won't be able to do in your head so writing your workings out will uh, aid you there. So I want to replace the x with a 6. My problem is that if I had simply replaced it with a, the x with a 6 it would make it 26 plus 5 which is wrong. We have to remember that the coefficient 2 in front of the x actually means 2 times x. So when I replace the x with a 6, I've got to remember to put the time sign in. So 2x plus 5, when we replace the x with a 6, becomes 2 times 6 plus 5, which is 12 plus 5, and I know the answer is 17. 2x squared minus 7 and I want to substitute x for 3. So I'm going to replace my x with 3 uh, but I've got to remember now because the uh, 2 was next to the x I've got to put a, a multiply sign between them and then I'm going to go back to my bid mass. What did bid mass tell me to do first? Well it tells me to do the powers, the indices here first. So 3 squared I know is 9 and then I can take this from here, 2 times 9 is 18, 18 take away 7 is 11, and there again we've got our answer when we substitute x for 3. 3x plus y then. So, okay, right, just tell me x is equal to 5 and substitute it in. I put 5 in, make sure I put my time sign in because the 3 was next to the x. I can do 3 times 5 is 15, but this is as far as we can go because we don't know the value of y. So when there's two variables, two different variables, um, and we only know the value of 1, we can only simplify it down so far and then we're stuck. It doesn't mean to say that the answer is wrong. In the exam they might ask you to substitute the x for 5 and simplify as far as possible, and to this point 
that would be right. So don't assume just because you don't get a numerical value um, that you don't necessarily, you've, you've got the question wrong. 2xy plus 5, and we're told that x is equal to 4. So I'm going to replace the x with a 4, and because the 2 is next to the x, I've got to put a time sign in. And remember, this is 2 times 4 times y, because there's an invisible time sign between the 4 and the y, plus 5. Because of that, I can simply do 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8, leaving me with 8, lots of y. I can't simplify any further because I don't know the value of y. And there's my answer. By substituting in x is equal to 4, I've got 8 lots of y, 8y plus 5. So that's substitution. Now remember that it may look more complicated in longer equations, but all these principles I'm teaching you, these are the ones you apply to it. And so don't let more complicated questions overwhelm you. Simply do the same uh, techniques um, and the same tricks.